Hey everybody, welcome to Peppermint and Tobacco, a YouTube channel all about home fragrance including candles and today we're going to talk about all of this and a little bit of a retail rant, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, thanks for coming on back. I'm glad you're here. If you like content about home fragrance, including candles, you're in the right place. A lot of you are returning subscribers. I'm so glad you're here. And if you're new to the channel, I am glad you are here too. Consider subscribing. So, we've got a lot to talk about today. I am burning a lot of different candles uh, over the weekend. I've got peonies, fragrances downstairs that I'm going to share a little bit with you. And I've got a few fragrances upstairs I'm burning. Um, Village Candles Black Bamboo, which was um, a highly voted fragrance for me to um, burn in a recent video, so I'm testing it out upstairs and thumbs up so far. Um, so it's Saturday here. I hope you're enjoying your Saturday, and I have done a, a little bit of candle shopping and some other errands this morning. I'm going to share a little bit about it, but first we're going to start with these peony candles. So um, earlier this spring, I have been on a spring floral kick and peony candles are perfect for that and so I in this hurricane is a DW peony petals candle and I have been babying it for the past couple of days uh, if you like blow up the video you may be able to see there's a lot of wax here it's been had a hard time making a wax pool um, and it's not got a lot of fragrance at all um, I can smell a, like a sweet floral fragrance it's very very light when I um, go outside and come back in when that candle's just burning but it's pretty disappointing but I'll bring a review of it in a couple of days when I've been able to burn some more and of course I brought out the hurricane because a lot of you so smart said John hey put it in a hurricane help it um, to pull out and that hasn't happened y'all I just don't want to have to baby a candle too much and so anyway we'll see so test continues and then down here um, from my recent colonial candle haul I have um, I think this is called, well, let me check it out, it's called Soft Peony. And so, you know, I probably read the description of the fragrance a little bit when I ordered the candle. It was on sale, it was discounted, it was, I forget, there was like super sale. I got it for almost nothing. Y'all can find it on the Colonial Candle um, website for about $11 right now. Um, I think it's an 8 ounce candle that promises 50 hours of burn. Not going to go into it too much because I just started burning it. But let me tell you, um, you know, this happens to me from time to time. I buy with my eyes. And what I mean by that is that the candle is pink and the label says soft peony. But listen to this description. I've got it pulled up here. The fragrance notes are um, uh, bergamot, argentina, lemon, heliotrope petals, which are the, um, I think those are like, sunflower petals. Uh, blushing pink peonies, sweet amber, magnolia blossom are the mid notes, and then vanilla flower, oud wood, and mist, uh, mit, they say mists of musk. Say that real fast. Mist of musk. And so they talk about it, you know, as a peony candle, but really what this is, is a musky um, sandalwood amber candle. And so that's pretty disappointing because I'm not a big fan of amber or, or musk as primary notes and uh, sandalwood just doesn't do it for me. I know some of y'all are, um, you know, love the sandalwood, love the amber and I'm happy for you. They're fragrances for everybody. It just isn't for me and so I bought with my eyes seeing pink peony, pink candle thinking light pink floral. It's really a musky amber candle which just like is confusing to my brain. but. Uh, I've got it here now. We're going to continue to burn it. Uh, one of the things that I noticed, and, and you might assume that too, it's got this neat oblong uh, uh, candle uh, shape. It's going to make a great vase, um, which I will appreciate after I burn the candle, but um, it's a little bit difficult for the edges of it to pull out. Of course, it's pulled out just fine, but it's um, an, odd, an odd shape. Okay, moving on down the road, so refreshing some things. Y'all, my um, terrarium with my fern that I made a couple of, um, like maybe a month ago, is doing really well. So if you want to learn how to reuse a candle jar and make it into a terrarium, I'll link to that video below. It was, it's been a lot of fun, and it's done better than I thought that it would. Um, and I see new little um, shoots coming up, and so I might make some more to have like a trio of it. I have two other plants that I want to do. Oh! So skipping back to peonies, so I've got um, this 
peony candle burning from DW Home. I've got this peony, peony candle from Colonial Candle. And then I have um, this peony candle from Lafco that uh, I will burn. And then I have a peony candle from Kringle Candle that I've already burned and done a review on. Um, so we'll do a recap of like the best peony candle out of these here coming up once I've had a chance to burn both the Colonial Candle and the Lafco Candle. So more to come on that. Y'all, I um, emptied the dishwasher. Um, of course, I clean my um, jars really well with soap and water. They don't go into the dishwasher with any sticky goo or whatever. It's just to do a, a final rinse. Um, and, you know, so I have these. Um, I can, you can recycle them and reuse them. And so these are going to be reused. So I can just imagine like a party, whether at holiday time or, um, you know, a summertime party where I can turn these into same size little tabletop uh, bouquets or place them around the house. You know, a couple of these, two or three on the dining table spread out will keep a low profile. And so I'm really looking forward to reusing these and they'd be easy to store. So um, I just wanted to share that I do recycle and y'all seen my videos about how to pop out the wax. I did in my last experiment with getting the wax out. So this was a Goose Creek candle. This was the Goose Creek Breezy Tulips candle. And of course, I, I uh, extinguished it, put it in the freezer. I'm pointing this way because the refrigerator is this way. Um, and then the wax hardened and then I used a butter knife to just go around the outside and the wax popped out pretty easily. And then it was stuck. <laughs> It was stuck in here and I couldn't get the wax to break uh, when it was cold and I was using enough force that I was worried I might break the glass. So then I let it warm up a little bit and the wax re, um, it got soft again and so I was able to cut it with a butter knife. So, and it stayed in two pieces. So sometimes it won't completely pop out right after it comes out of the freezer. You might have to let the wax soften on the outside a little bit. And there were some Kringle jars in there on here. It was the aqua and gray um, fragrances from Kringle. I put them in the freezer, they hardened, and then I used the butter knife, but it needed a minute or two to warm up just on the outside before the wax came easily out. And after I let it um, pop out, or let it rewarm, it popped out. Um, a few things, uh, reasons to live. So I'm looking forward to the semi-annual sale, which is um, on June 10. I probably won't go into the store because it's a madhouse and that kind of like excitement, like I'm busy enough in my life. I don't need that sort of like stress in my life. <laughs> so I'll probably do this online. And so maybe you've gotten uh, your coupon already, but look out uh, for coupons from Bath and Body Works. And then I'm on the Goose Creek mailing list. I got a mailer recently and this has on the backside a coupon for 15% off. So those of you who are thrifty, um, you know, keep, I have a coupon like envelope in my drawer right here in the kitchen and I like to keep my, my coupons. I have my other um, uh, lighter here somewhere, but I'll talk about this one. This one is a Bic lighter and it is at the end of its life. In a previous video, I showed you how to make a, um, how to refill a refillable lighter. It's really easy. The other lighter that I use is refillable. It has a little window on the side. And so um, what I found is you can find the butane that fills those lighters and it's about the same price as a lighter. So, and it has like the, uh, the canister that I had had 99 uh, refills in it. So for the price of a lighter, you can use 99 refills. It's easy. There are directions on the side of the um, container to, to show you how. And I have a how-to video. So um, if you're interested in saving money by using re refillable lighters, there's a video available for you. Someone recently said, hey John, do an up close of your cookie jar. So the cookie jar stays back here in the um, kitchen and it's a, a staple in, a, in most of my videos. I will say that if you ever want to be sure that you always have a clean kitchen, start a YouTube channel where you record from your kitchen because I'm cleaning all the time uh, and which is really nice. So it's a benefit of this, but sometimes out of camera, like right now the dining table or the kitchen table, it's got some coffee cups, it's got some odds and ends sort of drop zone over there. So, you know, don't be mistaken by the pristine appearance here. Sometimes you know, life is outside of the, um, the frame of the video. Do not compare your insides to other people's outsides. That is the, or your, um, your sort of movie of your life to other people's A-roll. I'm going to show you for the most part the A-roll 
Um, but anyway, maybe sometime I'll give you a tour of the kitchen you can see real life. But um, for right now, we're going to do uh, a close-up of my cookie jar. So this is a monk. I think it's so cute. Hopefully it will focus in and you can see the monk has a big smile and it says, Thou shalt not steal cookies. And inside of the monk, I don't keep cookies, but I do keep the world's best protein bar. And I like these, this is a company called Oya, oh yeah, and Oya oh yeah makes these one bars. Um, this one's called um, Blueberry Cobbler, and it's my favorite. And so every once in a while, it will go on sale at the local grocery store. It's still pretty pricey. These um, on sale are two for four dollars, so two dollars a piece. But they're healthy. They are high in protein, um, and they're a great snack and a choice. And they taste really great. So some protein bars taste like dirt. These don't, and I really like them. So I like this one, and I like the um, I think there's a cinnamon roll one. And so when I'm looking for a sweet treat and I want to have a better choice that helps fit my macros, um, we got this. And then uh, finally what I wanted to share in this assortment of stuff, I have a story to tell, is about Mackenzie Childs. So somehow along the way I got onto the Mackenzie Childs mailing list. And Mackenzie Childs is like a home company like um, that has accessories and furniture like Pottery Barn and stuff, but it may be a little bit up from that. And they, from time to time, have candles. And I wanted to show you too, hopefully I'll be able to get the camera to focus on this. So you can see there they have citronella candle in this verdigris pot. I'll turn it on the back too. There was another one. This, I really liked the green of these pots. So I'm hoping the camera will zoom in. I'm learning how to get it to do that. But the verdigris of this um, citronella candle was really interesting to me. I like the, the look of that. And then in the catalog, they have these really interesting taper candles. So I'll sort of, you can see that they are blue and white, which would be so fun for like a blue and white table. It sort of almost looks nautical. And then they move into like silver and gold stripes, um, navy and blue stripes, and navy and gold. And then on this page, there are some Harlequin and... Um, woven designs and polka dots. And I just thought that these candles were, looked really great and it's fun. Um, now let's see, the, um, you get, they're not cheap, they're hand rolled and decorated beeswax candles. They come in sets of two. The banded ones are 18 bucks. The multi bands, I guess with the um, multiple colors, are sets of two 12 inch tapers, $26. The dot candles, are also 26. Um, the dot dinner candles, let's see, dot dinner candles, hand roll beeswax, oh they're colored maybe. Um, and then dragonfly, there were some dragonfly ones in there, were $26 too. And then the fishnet ones, they were calling it fishnet, which I was calling the crisscross, are 18 bucks. So I just, like those were unique and I like to have tapers on my dining table and so I wanted to uh, share that with you all. Um, and there was something else. Oh yeah, this one may be hard to see too, but we'll try. So they have a flower bowl here that you could put um, flowers in, but they've used it as a votive holder. And I just thought that was a neat concept that I might um, try to do here soon. So I've got um, like a crystal cut flower vase that I might use for something like that. Um, Anyway, just some neat ideas, so if you're not familiar with Mackenzie Childs, I'm sharing that with you. So, earlier today I was out doing some fun errands and I stopped by a shopping center nearby and I'll add a picture in. So I stopped at Bed Bath & Beyond and they were having a medium jar sale and of course you need to always bring your Bed Bath & Beyond 20% off coupon and I'm not sure if the coupon applies to the sale but they had the medium um, candle jars from Yankee Candle on sale, two for, at least in my store, it was two candles for $31.99, so two candles for $32, um, which was, you know, pretty reasonable. They didn't have any fragrances that I um, wanted to try today that were compelling enough for me to buy and try to cram into the candle closet, but, um, you know, for those of you who love Yankee Candle, um, they're on sale, or at least the medium jars are on sale right now at Bed Bath & Beyond, or they were at this store that I went to, and also, 
And that same shopping center is Nordstrom Rack, and that was really the reason why I went out there. So that Nordstrom Rack was packed today. There were tons of people in there, and I was looking for, in particular, Nest Candles. And they did have a kiosk of Nest Candles. They had the very small votive size, which is a great way to sample. Those small votives are 16 bucks at the store that I, that I went to. They're also $16 at the Nordstrom at the mall, so there wasn't a price difference there. And then they had... Um, the classic one wick and they had a couple of three wick. Primarily in the one wick candles they had tarragon and ivy which I've already tried. It's nice, it's a soapy candle, it's not a repeat buy for me but if you um, like a fresh clean almost uh, soapy uh, candle, uh, tarragon and ivy is one to check out. And then they had um, orange blossom was another one that was there and so it was primarily tarragon and ivy and orange blossom and then they had tarragon and ivy and orange blossom in the three wicks and so the um, uh, one uh, wick candle the classic jar they were priced at like 20 bucks which it was $19 or something which is a great price for nest and then the three wick candles were 40 bucks some I think it was like $39.99 or something like that, which is a, also a great price. I didn't pick up um, the Orange Blossom 3 Wick because I just, like I kept thinking about it and was like, I have a ton of stuff that I need to burn anyway, so uh, I held off on it. I showed some adult restraint, but um, like Anthony, and I hope I mentioned this, but Anthony at Candle Cafe was reviewing the linen candle and he said, hey, I got this at, I believe it was that he got this at Nordstrom Rack and was something to check out and so that's why I went down there. So Nest Candle for Less, Nest Candle for Less at Nordstrom Rack, it was, I did, I did find them there, it was a good price, so maybe check out a Nordstrom Rack near you, might have a, a, a different assortment. So after Nordstrom Rack, what did I do? Um, If you have a peony candle that you want me to include in this uh, assortment of the best peony candle ever, leave it below. Say, hey, John, you got to check out this peony candle. Otherwise, I'm going to be here burning it up uh, over the next couple of days to bring you some reviews. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time.